Hi there, welcome back. Welcome back to Archie's Kitchen. Today's recipe I have for you is another vegetarian classic. It's your aubergine and potato curry, which is a belter. So the ingredients we need for this is we need some fresh 8 to 10 aubergines. We need some new potatoes peeled and sliced in half. We need some fresh coriander for garnishing. We need a couple of red tomatoes. We need some fresh green chilies chopped. We need your normal um, spices, which is your salt, your turmeric, your cumin powder and your um, zira powder. We need some garlic and ginger paste and we need some salt. So first of all, what we're going to do is we're going to pop a little bit of oil in your pan and we're going to heat that up on medium heat. And we're going to add into that two chopped onions, medium sized, and we're going to saute them until they go um, golden brown. So once they've gone um, lovely and golden brown like this, we are going to add in um, just a quarter cup of uh, water just to bring the colour out of the onions. And then we're going to add in your garlic and ginger paste. I've got a teaspoon, maybe a teaspoon, just a little bit more than a teaspoon. We're going to add that in and we're going to give it a mix together. We're going to then add your chopped green chilies. You can adjust the green chilies to your own taste buds. We're then going to add in a teaspoon of cumin powder and we're going to add a teaspoon of salt. We're going to add a half a teaspoon of um, turmeric powder. And then we've got the coriander powder, a teaspoon of that. And then we are going to mix that together and simmer it for a few minutes. Then what we're going to do is we are going to add in your um, chopped tomatoes. Now what I did with the tomatoes was I just blended them in a hand blender um, just so it just blends in beautifully with the curry. And we're going to give that a thorough mix together and simmer it for about uh, five to seven minutes with the lid on. Then we're going to lift the lid and our masala is beautifully ready here. We're then going to add in our new potatoes, give those a good mix together. And then we're going to pop the lid back on again for a further five to seven minutes so the potatoes can get cooked sort of 70%. Um, after five to seven minutes, we are going to lift the lid, give it a mix together. And then what we're going to do is we're going to add in our aubergines. Now, what I did with the aubergines was I sliced them into half like this, or three pieces. We're going to mix them together in with the potatoes, so all the masala gets mixed into the aubergines as well. And because the potatoes are already 70-75% done, we're going to pop the lid back on again, um, only for another five to seven minutes maximum, maybe ten minutes. And when you lift the lid, your curry is ready to be served. It is gorgeous. It smells amazing and the aubergines as you can see are cooked through so what i did with this was i just um, served it up with some fresh chapatis so i had the dough ready in the fridge and i'm just taking um, a couple of chapatis making them fresh so i can serve dinner up um, you can um, serve it up with your choice of breads you can have chapati you can have naan bread you can also um, serve it up with some rice if you want to for the rice lovers um, honestly, it's a curry. You can eat it with anything, can't you? So what I did was I made the chapati and I um, made that fresh because uh, my family like fresh chapatis and they like to have a, a combination of um, different sort of like sides to eat with the curry. So as you can see, the chapati has cooked beautifully and we are ready to dish up. So... I do enjoy making these videos for you all and honestly the comments and responses I get are amazing and I really look forward to giving you more. We've buttered the chapati up here and then what I've done is I've dished out our curry into a, a beautiful dish that I have and then what I've done is on the side where I've put the chapati I've just popped a little bit of yogurt and a little bit of pickle on the side and I've garnished the curry with some freshly chopped coriander and there you go that's your dinner ready enjoy like always like subscribe and share the channel as much as you can don't forget to press the bell icon and I will see you again on another day with another recipe thank you so much for watching bye